blood to the beat with my hopes and my dreams like a boat in the sea let it ride from the west to the east be the best you can be let the rest rest in peace while i try what's goody fam you already know who it is it's shaka shine and i'm coming back at it with another reaction on shaka shine reacts today i gotta give a big old shout out to travis and their request was the nba's the dream team and it's the full documentary part seven now um i'm not gonna hold y'all let's get this wrapped up because it's just a little piece of the end so make sure that if you are or haven't seen any of the other parts you watch it in order because this is a must and i'll make sure that i put it in the playlist for you so let's get straight into it in barcelona Campeón olímpico y medalla de oro, el equipo de los Estados Unidos de América. There was never really any doubt the Dream Team would win gold in 1992. Right. But as they walked back onto the court to get their medals, the moment still overwhelmed them. You saw a lot of tears from players. It was a very proud moment for me because anytime you represent your country, you know, that's a prideful thing. Mm -hmm. Send chills down my spine. It was a reward that I had never felt like that I would ever achieve. To do it on that stage with those group of guys, it's a memory I'll never forget. I bet that would be insane to win a gold, to win an Olympic medal at all, to be real. <laughs> like, come on. Nothing in my life has ever felt like standing on that podium. I was getting goosebumps. Crazy. Every single time I heard the national anthem after that had a different significance to me. I knew what it really meant, you know. As a young kid growing up, I used to watch Olympics on TV with my father, and uh, all he talked about was the Star Spangled Banner and, and the gold medal. It made him feel proud to be American. Being up on that podium that night and receiving it, my father, You've been pretty proud. That's insane and sad at the same time. Come on. All those emotions just yeah. overcame me. I got to be one of the guys one more time for my country. And you made it I work. I said, man, I'll never forget this moment. It's how could you, you know? If this is the end, this is how I wanted to go out. Yeah. This group may well be the greatest team ever assembled in the history of team sports. But when the medal ceremony was over, another realization began to settle in. When I walked off, I remember thinking that whole uh, dream has come to an end. Yeah. The next season, every Olympian except Magic Johnson and Larry Bird would return to the NBA. Okay. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen would win their third title yeah. against Charles Barkley and the Phoenix Suns. On the way to six championships overall, the last three with Tony Kukoc. Eventually, other members of the team would also win titles. That's because they all were amazing players. <laughs> each NBA player on the Dream Team would reach the Hall of Fame. Still, it's what they did together that- Hold on, hold on, let me, I didn't hear that. But each NBA player on the Dream Team would reach the Hall of Fame. Okay, good, they should. Still, it's what they did together that summer that had the biggest impact on the game. Mm. An impact that continues to grow today. It really lifted basketball and it gave birth to international stars mm -hmm. who had nothing to do with those games in 92, but who took so much from it. And that's what it is, opening the doors. Each step, some players open doors for other players and now we are where we are today. He made the game a worldwide game. 
You know, I talked to Tony Parker. I talked to Ginobili. I talked to Dirk Nowitzki. Those guys say their first love of basketball started with the Dream Team. And I'm really proud of that. You should be. That's amazing. <laughs> amazing. That's the world up. can change a lot in 20 years. But there are moments in time you never forget. Mm -hmm. No matter how long it's been. Of course. No matter how much else has changed in your life since. 20 years later, they've all kept ties to the game in one way or another. And they all talk about the summer of 92, <laughs> as if it happened just yesterday. Oh, yeah. An experience still unlike any other in their remarkable basketball lives. I've never had more fun being around anybody. <laughs> Everybody got along. There was no ego. We had fun. Where is the Basketball Hall of Fame? If you know, let me know, put it in the comments. <clears throat> you know, clearly Excuse everybody me. reminds me I never won a championship. <laughs> so that to me was like winning the championship, winning the gold medal and hanging out with these guys. The reward itself is really only a small part of the story. Straight up. It's what the gold medal represents that will always tie these men together. Always. This is like this fraternity mm -hmm. that's pretty awesome yeah i don't think you're ever going to be able to get 11 hall of famers to play all at once you know um on one team that's that's unheard of <sighs> we go on the bus <sighs> we come back <sighs> walk out the hotel <sighs> wave <sighs> wave outside your window <sighs> I can't believe it. I don't think so. At all times. Oh my God. It changed sport as we know it. They showed the world how to play basketball. What other team Big can say facts. that? I don't think we'll ever see anything like it again. It's an insult to compare anybody else to that team. Take a good. Do y'all think that's the facts? Is it an insult to compare any any uh, team to this, this team? Put it in the comments. Let me know. Perhaps we'll never see a team this great again. No team will ever have that happen. Hasn't had that happen. And... Uh, that's the dream day. All right. Boom. OK, you guys. First things first, got to say thank you, Travis. This was quite informative. I think this is probably the best um, documentary about the, about the dream team that we've watched so far, had a reaction to. So again, I got to say thank you. Truly appreciate that. Uh, I did learn a lot. So I appreciate that a lot. And um, if you're making it this far and you've been hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that comment button, I got to say thank you. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. I got to give credit when credit's due. That's what this whole channel is about. And y'all deserve all the credit. So again, thank you. You are all appreciated. Also, um, I also want to say thank you to everyone that went over to my music last year. I make music and I ended up putting out a song for every single Friday of 2021, equaling out to 53 songs in one year. I did all the mixing, all the mastering, all the cover art. So for anyone that went over there and uh, liked, subscribed, commented, shared the music, anything like that, I truly appreciate that as well. Just had to let y'all know. And with all that being said, oh, actually, if you wanna check out the music now, links right underneath the like button. With all that being said, you know I'll be back at it with another reaction tomorrow.